You gotta love when daylight saving times happens and we all have more time to film with natural sunlight. Hey guys, it's Alyssa here and today I shall be doing the campfire book tag. This tag was originally created by Jade over at Jaded Reader. I will link her original tag down below. The first question is, build the tent, a book you had to read that ended up being a drag. I picked this answer, not really looking at the question. I didn't have to read this book. I just had it on my TBR for so long that I felt that I had to. And that book is The Giver by Lois Lowry. This was by far one of the worst books I read last year. It is, in my humble opinion, so beyond overhyped. I don't get it. I don't understand it. I'm not here for it. And I just, the whole thing was boring to me. <laughs> like I felt like it could have been done in a more interesting way and it just wasn't done in an interesting way and it was just boring and I didn't like it and I it felt like such a longer book than it actually is. 170 pages. Meanwhile, to me, it felt like it was like over 300 because that's how much of a drag it was. Question number two is build a fire, a book you are proud of finishing. Now this is gonna be an interesting answer. This isn't a huge book. It's not like 800 pages <laughs> or anything like that. Cleopatra, A Life by Stacey Schiff. This was really the first nonfiction book that I read and I was so proud of myself for finishing this. Me a couple years ago when I first started my booktube channel, I never would have read something like this in a million years. Also if you hear licking, my cat is sitting right next to me licking herself. Stop. You can leave. I'm like so proud of myself for finishing this and it's pretty dense material and I'm just so proud of myself for finally giving nonfiction a try and I feel myself really wanting to get more into it this year especially. The next question is Roasted Marshmallow, a mushy sweet book you couldn't help but devour. And for that I actually chose a book that I very recently finished and that was A Curious Beginning by Deanna Rayborn. Oh my god. <laughs> I This is everything I want in a Victorian era set mystery. It's everything I've ever wanted and then some. Recently, I think the end of last year, DNF'd a series called the Amelia Peabody series by Elizabeth Peters and this heavily reminded me of that but so much better and so much more well done. Such a kick butt female main character. Had enough going on that it wasn't like too like of a soft read but it was still overall just like such a fun what I would call a fun read and I just absolutely fell in love with it. I cannot wait to read more of the series this year because I definitely know it's going into a top series of mine. I absolutely loved it. The next question is Gone Fishing, a book that hooked you by the first chapter. For that I'm going with Salt by Hannah Moskowitz. This was a really cool book that I read last year that I wasn't anticipating me like liking that much. An interesting read because like I didn't end up giving it like a five out of five stars. It's not like oh my god one of the best books I've ever read but it's a book I think about a lot and to me that's like a really important thing of whether or not I think back about a book. And from the very beginning it was just so interesting and so different and it's one of those books that it's like plot wise and character wise was just really original. The next question is Skipping Rocks, a book or series you DNF. This was a series that I want to say I DNF maybe in 2017 and um, it makes me really really sad because I've been reading this book for seven years I want to say something crazy like that and that is the Stephanie Plum series by Jan Ivanovich. This made me so sad to finally like DNF this. So okay, the, the deal with the series is this is, what is it? 11 on top, right? Okay, this is the 11th book in the series. As it is, that's ridiculously long. We're on number like 25 by now. <laughs> like it's that series that just keeps going and going and going and going and probably isn't going to end until the author dies. Couldn't do it anymore. Um, maybe eventually when the series ends I'll read like the last book 
but for a while I kind of had this mentality of like oh well it's like I'm reading the same book just like the names are like changed of who the characters are in the book and it was like the same book every time it came out and for a while I was okay with that and then I realized like am I really getting anything out of this is it really a new kind of enjoyment because I don't mind reading books that I know are just gonna be pure enjoyment and I'm not gonna get anything like any depth out of but I just had a problem with like am I really enjoying it like I want to be putting energy into new things that I'm going to enjoy it might not be the deepest most sentimental novels but are something I haven't read before and I just couldn't keep going so I will probably eventually when this ever ends I will read the last book to see what happens but you know they come out every year and it just kept feeling like the same issues and it wasn't enjoyable anymore so sadly I had to give it up. I will still always hold like a place in my heart because it's like one of the very first and longest series I've ever read so it'll always kind of be a special place for me. The next question is Campfire Songs, a book so good you were always found singing its praises. This was a little bit of a hard question for me to answer but I feel like I never shut up about Fire by Kristen Kishore because this was so good. <laughs> this was phenomenal. I thought it was like I loved Graceling, don't get me wrong, it was wonderful. Found it unbelievably like it was still really good. Still one of my favorite reads. But this this had me feeling some type of way. I will probably like in again in my life reread this series because the world is just so good. The characters are so good. The plot is so good. And I can't wait, wait to read Bitter Blue and see like if it's even better than this because I don't know how it could be any better than this because like this has everything I want in a fantasy novel and I just like read even if you don't like Graceling, right? Even if you don't like Graceling, read Graceling to read this because It's worth it. The next question is The Night Sky, a book that made you think deeply about an aspect in the world. I don't know like if this made me think deeply about a specific aspect but a very recent read for me that made me think a lot was My Brilliant Friend by Elena Ferrante. I guess like a really big aspect of this book is like the town of like these people and the characters in this book. How intense their like culture is and how that can greatly affect how you grow up. I think that's what I kept thinking throughout this whole thing like depending on who raised you and who you were surrounded by and what environment you grew up in can greatly shape you as a person. It was just a very intense read. I'm, I'm interested to see like what I get out of the other books in the series but it's definitely one of those that really makes you think about family dynamics and like relationships and friendships and stuff. Very thought-provoking read for me. Question number eight is The Teardown, a book that's ending was bittersweet and these are all like recent reads for me but that was Sister by Rosamund Lupton. <sighs> I'm not gonna say anything about the ending because I can't say anything about the ending because it literally ruins the entire book but the way this ending twisted and ripped out my entire heart from my body was just really intense. While I feel like it had a really good ending, especially for a thriller, it was very bittersweet, surprisingly. And it was, it had me feeling a very different type of way than what I normally feel with thrillers. And it was just that, you know, I wish maybe someone hadn't been killed. Like, you know, and normally I don't really feel that with thrillers, but this one had me feeling that type of way. So that was it for the campfire book tag. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope I shall see you in the next one. Bye.